Hey guys, um, so I wasn't planning to make a video like this. I just got done doing some yoga in my one car garage that has been transformed into a hot room that I can do yoga and other workouts in and Dennis too. This room um, is also a reminder of how much my world shifted since the COVID-19 outbreak and um, the shutting down, at least temporarily, of salons and not being essential business. And um, I don't know, most of you might not know this, but Dennis and I were supposed to become salon owners of our very first salon that would really be our own on April 1st. and that did not end up happening. Um, you know, I, we have to see the bright side that we hadn't signed the lease yet, even though we were so close to um, signing it. That same week that they started closing businesses down, they hadn't closed down salons yet in Orlando, um, but they were starting to shut down other businesses. Um, and we decided we weren't gonna keep going to work because we were afraid of being you know, um, silent carriers of the virus and, and infecting other people. Um, so we stopped working and that gave us the opportunity to think if it was a good time to sign a lease for a salon. And we decided it wasn't because we realized how fragile really um, our industry is. Uh, so that has been really, this garage is filled with all the furniture that was going to be in the salon because, you know, we're not getting rid of it or anything like that. We hopefully will be able to make use of it um, in some way and continue on that path if that's what we want to do. But if it's, you know, sometimes these things happen and it just shakes everything for you, makes you feel like it's like a forced pause or a reset button. Um, nothing like this has ever happened to me in my lifetime. I am grateful that change is something I'm very used to in my life. I've, I've done a lot of moving, um, even if it was just from <laughs> one apartment to an apartment across the street. Um, I've, you know, I worked in a lot of different salons, um, and each time I moved salons, it was a huge change. I moved from Orlando to Miami for one year and then moved back to Orlando, um, and that was, you know, really big, a lot of shifting as well. And each thing, though, that happened, um, you know, was a choice. And thing, it's very different when you choose a really dramatic shift than when it feels it was sort of um, forced upon you. But... Um, I just want to say that uh, I want to be there for you in any way that I can. Um, I'm aware that there are people in much more difficult situations than I'm in. Um, I'm creating online education at a very, very low cost so that, you know, hopefully I can help hundreds or thousands of people um, learn the things that they were having to pay hundreds of dollars to come to me to learn, to learn them at home uh, for, you know, <laughs> uh, a very small fraction of the price um, and that hopefully I can sell enough of them to keep paying my rent and um, take care of, take care of, Dennis and I take care of ourselves too. Um, so it's about finding balance in that and I'm still learning it. I'm still trying to figure it out. Um, it's hard because you're like, this This education I'm putting out is so valuable. It has such a higher price tag than this. And, and, it, and it's like, what am I comfortable with um, to basically give it away? And I've had to shift my mindset to not what I was, not the path that I was on that was like, I'm learning more and so I'm able to give each client that sits in my chair more and the prices of my services continued to rise and there were never complaints. People were very happy with the investment that they made to learn their hair, not just for the haircut, but to learn their hair. Um, so I've created, I can't cut hair, you know, through a screen, unfortunately. 
and I don't know how safe it is yet to do a client's hair while they have a mask on and I have a mask on. I just don't know enough to feel comfortable to go back behind the chair yet and we're not allowed to yet anyhow. Um, so that's something to be assessed. But, um, you know, I know that there are people who don't know, cannot create any source of income online or have not figured out how to do so yet and are are looking at the world and wondering where where's my place now? Where's my place? You know, I have so many friends that are in the restaurant industry, or bartenders, servers, um, you know, DJs. The the world is changing, and um, it's going to be really, really, really hard, um, especially for the people who are in industries that are really founded on that human connection, t closeness experience, right? Um, I'm sure we will find ways to adapt and the climate and environment of, of our social world will change. Um, I just want you to know that uh, it's been a hard few weeks. It's maybe I think it's been a little over a month now since I stopped working at the salon. Um, and I've been distancing myself from social media because ooh, the sun's coming down right now. <laughs> uh, I've been distancing myself from social media and then coming back to it and then distancing myself because I am in a weird place emotionally right now. I don't feel like my highs are high, but then they come crashing down. Um, it's like I can't sustain that that feeling that everything's going to be OK for very long. So so one of the things that can easily take me from a high place to a low place is putting out content that I'm creating to help people um, on YouTube and Instagram. Um, and even in my Facebook group sometimes that the intention is to help and then to get backlash um, It hurts. It hurts me a lot. So So I felt like I'm not safe Here I'm not safe in this space this digital space um, So I you might have noticed I've been turning comments off I've been doing that on all of my social media because I I can't handle the fear of opening it up and seeing the negativity, seeing the hate when all I, I need love right now. That's what I need in my life. Um, but I, I don't want to, I cannot separate myself completely from it because I'm aware that my social media presence is the reason that I can create these online courses that people buy and that anyone even knows about it. Um, you know, the following, it's like a currency. And I just want you guys to know that I appreciate you because you, without your follows, without your engagement in the things that I do share for free, um, I wouldn't be able to grow to a place where at least I'll have support more in my paid courses than I would if I was just, if I didn't have a following and I was just in the same exact position right now. Without the following, I can only imagine how different it would be. So I don't want to let the people who are not here in this space, this digital space for the right reasons, take me away from you, those who are here for the right reasons and who we can form a community that's really healthy and good because I am grateful for you because you have helped me grow. You have, you know, you have allowed the world to see what I can do because the more of you that come in, the more people who see that's how the algorithms work. So that is the world we live into. Um, and it's one that I'm going to have to learn to have a better relationship with because um, I don't know when my life will go back to normal. So um, I just wanted to show you me in a different setting, in a different mental place than I've been lately. I wanted to speak to you while I was in that place, in that moment. Um, and let you know that I I want to continue being here for you, especially especially for those who are feeling really lost right now and maybe seeing people who have lots of followers as, as people who aren't lost and are not in a bad situation and know that we're really scared too. Really scared a lot of the time. Um, uncertainty is unsettling but um, we just have to take it one day at a time and we'll see what happens. But I just wanted to let you know that I don't love you any le less than I ever have. I've just been trying to 
make sure I can be here in the right way and in a way that that really won't break me. So I hope that um, those who are here for the right reasons that you'll stay and we can continue this journey together and that those who maybe don't feel that I'm the right person for them in their journey to just, you know, quietly go to the side, to go to another place where you find what you're looking for because I want that for you too. Um, so I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. I'll be, I'll put out more content soon. If you want to support me on my financial journey right now and get some awesome education, you can go to curlninjamethod.online. That's where all my courses are that I really put a lot of time and effort into. Um, and they're, they're affordable just like the book was. So, um, and it's the book cracking the curl code is still on Amazon and it's $5 less for each version than it was when I first published it. So the ebook's only $4.99. So even if you just go get the ebook, thank you so much. It adds up, you know, don't think that your one little thing you do to help doesn't make a difference because if everyone thought that way, I would not make it through this time. So just thank you for your support. Um, let's continue to talk. Let me know what you guys want to see and I'll try to do my best to make it happen. I love you. Be well. Please stay home. Stay safe. Take care of yourself. Be brave and know that there is another side. There is a side of this where we come out of it. Okay? It won't be forever.